Let's bring in uh, the former Republican Congresswoman from the state of New York, Nan Hayworth, and also Naveen Nayak, president of the Center for American Progress Action Fund. A, a lot to talk about. We just watched the vice president uh, in Pennsylvania, and that lead, Naveen, in those two counties was really interesting post-debate. You start to think maybe we did see some movement. I don't know. What is your view? Yeah, I mean, again, I think these things usually take a week or two um, to really seep in. I think the public conversation has been phenomenal for her. I think even Republicans acknowledge that Donald Trump had an abysmal debate, that the conversation since then has been very positive for the vice president. I think she's what's really encouraging from you know my point of view is they're not taking any voter or any poll for granted. They're out there doing the work and really trying to earn every vote. Let me go to Nan on that. You can definitely follow up on our conversation, but also on what we just heard in, in Philadelphia. I'd be c c very curious about your point of view, because, you know, Cliff Albright, I was saying to Cliff, you know, she went, it seemed like, moderate on the war and abortion, just compared to the questioning. But as he points out, very progressive on other issues, particularly the economy. So what did you take away? Where do Republicans find openings from the comments we just watched? Well, there continues to be a very deep discontent on the ground. As we know, there are a lot of independents uh, who tracked with President Trump during the debate in the dial tests. Uh, and certainly, uh, you know, our friend Mark Halpern at another network and independently uh, has uh, been doing focus groups and finding that uh, there's perhaps a surprising amount of uh, attraction to President Trump's positions. I think it's going to be as it always is, up to Republicans to continue making the case in the most direct and uh, sane and relatable way, way possible, because this is definitely uh, a, an election that is absolutely on the edge. So the Springfield comments, she talked about it, um, that a negative issue for Republicans. She also, Nan, talked about how the fact she had a conversation with the former president about the, the second attempt on his, his life. Um, is that a an issue in this race, it, it's tough to know where the voters are, particularly the swing voters. Where do you think they are, Nan? Yeah, again, uh, it has to do very much with uh, how we make the case. Um, there, it, it sounds as though there are definitely uh, big challenges that have been placed on small communities, and not just Springfield, uh, that are being brought to light, uh, even while the details uh, remain uh, in dispute. So bringing that kind of distress to the forefront uh, can resonate with a lot of members of uh, diverse members of America's communities, but especially, uh, you know, working folks and uh, middle class people who are, as uh, Vice President Harris said, whom she wants to help. Right. But how is she really helping them? And is she really helping them by facilitating uh, special categories of immigration that can be very burdensome at taxpayer expense? Uh, to uh, small communities. As a final point, I mean, you know, it is interesting that th this issue, which Republicans think they have an advantage on immigration, I mean, that they think bringing this issue up helps them. We know that because J.D. Vance ba basically said it uh, the other day that if you, you know, whether it's true or not, you make up stories like this and people start talking about it. Naveen? Yeah, I mean, I think it is reflective of their approach to governing, which is it's not actually about solving problems. It's not about people. In fact, they will lie and make up problems um, if it helps them politically. And I, I think that's actually what's getting captured in this conversation and turning off a lot of voters, that you have a, a relatively moderate conservative government uh, governor in Ohio denouncing this, saying that their lies, people's lives are at risk. And I thought today you saw the vice president really draw the contrast. She's not concerned about her own safety. She has social uh, uh, secret service. What she focused on are all the people in this country who do feel they're at risk Donald Trump's grievances are all his personal ones, and he's more than happy to put communities at risk if it helps him politically. All right. With uh, the time such as it is, I know, Nan, that you disagree with the time such as it is after covering the vice president. We'll get back to the politics. We have a lot more to do. We thank Nan Hayworth and Naveen Nayak. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.